Hello everybody, welcome back to the Minor Man Douglas video. Today we'll be going over many of the new features in the housing update, including the ability to drop items, game rules, inventory layouts, functions, brand new features to conditionals, and much, much more. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Now first and foremost, let's talk about functions. So in short functions, you can find in the house settings menu, and you, and you can create basically different functions. Now when you create it, it'll ask you for a name. I'm just gonna name mine vid. And you can add actions, for example, you can add many, many conditionals. And this is useful for this. So if I get an NPC, which we'll talk about the new, new features of the NPCs later on, so stay tuned later in the video, but if we go to actions, Instead of adding like a limited number of conditionals, you see the limit was only like 16, but now you can add like practically unlimited. Instead of adding conditional over and over, you just functions. You can just trigger function, choose the function. You can just choose a function, and if it triggers for all players, you click that, or if it doesn't, you don't click it. That's another feature you have with functions that can trigger for everybody. And for conditionals themselves, they actually got a small update too. If you go to condi conditional, there's no new actions and stuff, but it can match any condition. Let's say you have 10 conditions here. If one of them is met, then it'll do the actions. Just one. And of course, if it isn't met, it'll do else actions. Now there's actually more conditionals, but if you go to the conditional menu, you just don't see them. Except goal global stat which we'll also talk about later on but there's actually many more which that brings us into event actions if you go to event actions there's some special conditionals for different ones so for a player block break used to if you made a, something just like mining sim you'd have to break a block and it in survival needs a glitch and it can tp back up it worked but it wasn't the best like if you have a tree just like this it'd be impossible to mine and it just isn't worth it. So with this, you get this conditional inside of it. So if you go to player block break and add a condition, in the conditional there's a block type. And you can choose any block that you have in your inventory, of course not an item. For some reason it works, but if it's dirt, then it'll do it. And once they break the block, it'll do the following actions in the conditional. But if you don't have any conditional at all, just actions in the open, if any block in the whole entire house, no matter what direction is broken, it'll do the action, as intended. Now another event action that's been added is player quit, self-explanatory, but you can only do selected actions, like, like for random action, you can still only do selected actions. Really not much, but it's something. In player damage, this works for all forms of damage. Lava, get hit by a player, fire, but lastly, player enter portal. If a player enters a portal, like it can be it can be a nether portal or it can be an end portal. It really doesn't matter, it can be either. I'm gonna demonstrate that for you. So for this test, I added a quick send a chat message hello world and it'll do it. So if I enter another portal, it'll do fall big. But if I enter this, it'll do the sound continuously now. I don't know if this is a bug or what, but I kind of think it's a bug because if you enter another portal, it doesn't do it continuously. So anyway, it works for both portals, so it doesn't matter which portal you use. Now next, let's talk about um, um, NPCs. Now we talked about there was new features in NPC. Now in NPCs there is a new armor feature. So if I get myself a piece of armor like iron leggings, I can change equipment like the press leggings, I can make it equip iron leggings. Or if I get a sword, I can make it have a diamond sword just to sew and it follows up to just like a normal person. This is very, very, very useful, especially now with slash edit, you can actually dye armor. This is available in the last housing update, but I thought I might as well mention it. 
see armor color. Or you can craft it, which we'll also talk about in just very soon. Now next is game rules. The way you enter the game rules menu is to do slash game rules. And you can see game rules like join messages, if the player joins, for offense auto reset. And many of these were already available, but there's four new ones. Egg hunt allow flying, despawn vehicle dismount, item drops, and player crafting. Now player crafting is kind of self-explanatory, but let me show it off. Basically you can craft things. So if I get myself some oak planks, and I go in here, I can craft a crafting table. But if I turn this off by tapping the letters, they're not red. I try to craft it. It acts like it will, but I can't get it out. Now, item drops, if you toggle it off, you can't drop items, toggle it on, drops. Despawn vehicle dismount, this basically like despawns the vehicle when you exit the vehicle, like this boat that I'm about to show you. And I'm about to get out of it, and it despawns. Now if I... Okay, it's an update, despawn vehicle dismount basically despawns a vehicle like a boat or a minecart when you get on it. So if I right click this, get off, it despawns, turn it off. You know, during an egg hunt, if you went to fly, enable that, but it's automatically disabled at start. But next, we need to talk about global stats. Global stats is actually a very, very useful thing if you're kind of more technical guy that makes games. What this is, is they're kept forever. The stat is. Of course it reinstates, but they're kept forever. Now what this does is, it's a global stat. It says it's kept forever. It's the exact same as a regular stat, except it's not kept for only 14 days. Now, of course, using a new command, slash limits, you can only have so many global stats and player stats. Like with everything, there's always a limit. Before we go into even more of these awesome new features, we can't not talk about Apex Minecraft hosting. You can start your cheap, affordable, and super blazing fast Minecraft server today, all by clicking the link in the description or scanning the barcode on screen. It's easy to set up, has an easy to use control panel, you can install plugins super easily, or just a plan on survival world. Completely up to you. But click the link or scan the barcode. Now next is inventory. If you go to the inventory edit inventory If you go to inventory layouts, you can see I created some, but you can name it whatever you want. I just spam mine H and if you click it, you can do your current inventory. Import layout imports your current inventory. So if I import it, it'll import it just as so. And now if I completely clear my inventory and I get myself an action button or action pad. I can go to the last page, apply inventory layout, and then click the shipper one I did, and it'll replace the inventory. And this includes even enchanted and custom items. Again, another very handy feature. Now next is slash edit. Now I spoke earlier about new slash edit things, but if you do slash edit, you can now edit flags, which basically you can toggle it being unbreakable, modifiers, now enchantments, let's say I have an enchantment, like enchant protection, it'll still be enchanted no matter what, but I can just toggle it off, and it won't be there, and toggle it on it will, but it'll still be look enchanted, so it's very useful if you just wanted to look enchanted, like for example aqua affinity on a different item. Now next is Pro Tools. They haven't touched Pro Tools in a long time, and Slash Last Replace is still not in the Pro Tool menu, but we got two new ones. Walls, and Wireframe. And I'll be telling you exactly what they are today. So if I get my Region Selector tool, and I do this and go all the way up here, And as you can see, there's new particle effects, which is another new feature. But um, if you use wireframe and let's say obsidian, it can make just obsidian. And the reason you do this is for a portal. That's just the outside. 
but a wall it makes completely filled it's just like the set tool but you can't do air and it's just like a wall so now that's pretty much it with the pro tools now last but not least is permissions they added a brand new permission which basically for higher ups offline build now this is great for free builds like if just if you're not on the free build mods can moderate it and people can build no matter what it's very useful plus you can give this to admins if you want them to build or do things while you're gone they're offline for example if you have a mining simulator or some kind of simulator in mods but you're not going to be online everybody sleeps it can be there another permission that got added was the um change game rule which basically goes along with the new game rule that was created now that's pretty much it for this housing update and if i got anything wrong or there's even more tell me in the comments below and i could pin your comment make sure to subscribe and smash that like button i'll see you in the next one